measurement that Quincy wanted to make, the measurement that we set out to make, was a measurement of the history. My name is Stefan Herr. Herr actually means in German bright, so it kind of fits very nicely with optics. <laughs> The light propagates as a wave, and because it propagates as a wave, a lens cannot focus the light onto a focal point, on a dramatic focal point. So people thought that um, you couldn't image more sharply than, say, uh, half the wavelengths of light because of this phenomenon. But this was a misconception. Uh, you can do that if you, you're not using the focusing of light as a means to separate features. What I discovered is that you can do the separation of features just by turning them on and off. And that works particularly nicely for fluorescent molecules because you can turn off their fluorescence. And normally molecules are in a so-called ground state, meaning they're in a state in which they are not capable of emitting light back. But if you shine light on them, they get excited, so to speak, and then they release their excitation energy by emitting a, a photon, a, a fluorescent light. And this is why uh, they glow. So by playing with these two different states, on and off, glowing and not glowing, uh, you can make them discernible by, by just making sure that, that not all of them glow at the same time when you hit them with light. The first thing that was actually seen at a great level of detail was tiny vesicles in, in neurons. So these are little, little containers. Um, they're about 30 nanometers across in diameter. And they contain molecules that are absolutely critical for transmitting signals between neurons. And you can see them, how, how they move and how they, they bounce about, if you like. And so there are many, many discoveries that have been made and are being made all the time because we can see now things in, in a much greater level of detail. The beautiful baobab tree, or tree of life, is an African icon. The baobab fruit contains four times the potassium of banana, three times the vitamin C of an orange, and twice the calcium of spinach. But the baobab is an orphan. Science has paid little attention to this tree until now. The African Orphan Crops Consortium is harnessing the power of genetics for orphan crops. The baobab tree is the first of 101 plants to have its genome sequenced, assembled, and annotated. And the information will be made available to all unrestricted. Where millions of people are malnourished, this genetic data will help farmers provide the food they need. The genomes will guide African plant breeders so they can create crops that are higher yielding, water and nutrient use efficient, resilient to climate change, and full of nutrition, triggering a huge leap forward for the diversity and sustainability of the continent's agriculture.